स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू होप यू आर ऑल फाइन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द टॉपिक मेंस एंड वेमेंस लैंग्वेज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ बैकग्राउंड एंड इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट दिस टॉपिक दैट वट is the basic difference between the language used by men and the language used by women men and women tend to speak differently gather and arrange details differently similarly to discuss and decide mm, men and women it is a common practice if we observe in our daily life that how men speak how they gather information or gather details and also after gathering in what way or in what manner they try to arrange those details organize those details and similarly what is the pattern of discussion what is the mode of discussion and in what way they both try to make a decision make a conclusion and come to a decision uh, that is their decision making abilities and skills all are different from each other that is men and women are totally uh, different in their speaking uh, styles uh, speaking of the language uh, and uh, all those things men are directive while women more expressive and polite in language use that is use of gestures and words signifying feelings emotional and psychological states uh, typical property that belongs to men is that they are directive in nature mm, they try to become authoritative uh, didactic Uh, to uh, to direct uh, or to instruct uh, or to uh, uh, become authoritative uh, and women on the other hand they uh, always or naturally try to uh, uh, be expressive uh, uh, or to explain things uh, or deal the things uh, and Uh, around them uh, happenings of the events uh, in explanatory mode and uh, their language use is in polite way uh, and uh, these uh, they use for in order to fulfill this task uh, uh, it means uh, to be polite and expressive they use various gestures and the typical words uh, uh, that signify their feelings their emotional and the psychological states further according to fisher their brains ordained to operate in this manner as we see in the roles that they play in routine life mm, fisher uh, uh, say mm, says that uh, Uh, why is this difference uh, present uh, in the manner of language use of language styles of language and their attitudes and behaviors while using language uh, and uh, during communication because they are ordained so ordained implies that uh, uh, by birth or by instinct they are made so that is why they, uh, there seems a great difference uh, between men and women language and also because uh, it is uh, expressive and related to their roles of the life uh, in routine which they try to play the differences in language arise from the structure form vocabulary syntax language patterns ways of interaction topics or subjects and styles of using language 
this is the particularly related to the language related features and characteristics from which we can observe this difference that is about the structure of the language form various forms of the language vocabulary use uh, syntactical structures, language patterns, ways of interaction, that uh, how they uh, try to interact with each other or uh, with classmates, uh, with their parents, uh, with their friends uh, and with uh, other persons and topics or subjects, uh, what are their topics of interest, uh, you know, what are their favorite subjects. Uh, it seems uh, and it is observed that uh, men and women have a different taste and interest about selecting the type of topics or subjects for discussion for studying and also the styles of using language now we are going to study the different aspects of language and the related gender differences First of all, it is about the vocabulary differences. Uh, in vocabulary, uh, first come uh, the use of adjectives. Women use adjectives more than men. That is, uh, and uh, those particular type of adjectives used by women are like soft, sweet, nice, etc. It is because uh, why they use more adjectives and why such type of the adjectives uh, given in the example it is because they like to express feelings uh, because they are more sensitive by nature and they are more heedful and attentive because they don't uh, uh, take the things the environment uh, and the events or the happenings uh, going to happen around them uh, for granted they um, uh, try to uh, uh, notice all the things with keen interest uh, second is the color words women use more color words than men to make something more vivid and colorful Actually, the color world uh, literally means uh, the words uh, specifically used for uh, different colors like red, yellow, green, blue. But here color words uh, implies that uh, uh, as uh, we see uh, the different colors uh, are uh, uh, very uh, differentiating, distinguishing uh, from each other and they create a clarity and contrast from one another uh, in order to identify and distinguish uh, these so uh, here the use of words uh, which we term as color words is uh, implied as that women use such type of words that create in their message and their utterances uh, a vividness and colorful uh, and make uh, the, those utterances colorful uh, further is uh, the use of adverbs uh, women prefer using more adverbs like so quite uh, while men prefer using adverbs like very this is the basic difference that uh, both genders use uh, um, adverbs but women uh, particularly use the kind of words so quite in their conversations and the men often use mm, uh, very <laughs> expletives or sphere words actually these are both uh, synonyms uh, of each other uh, that is having same meanings uh, mm, it is about uh, uh, those particular words uh, which we uh, use for taking a note uh, for swearing or uh, and also these are both about uh, some negative uh, uh, negative uh, impressions to create negative impressions like uh, hatred condemnation uh, and uh, uh, the also uh, for the in the positive sense also a study shows neither men nor women use both severe words or expletives women speak words of manners 
and expressions of feelings for example oh my god uh, uh, expletives and swear words suggest that uh, both genders don't try to use uh, these swear words uh, frequently they, they casually use these words uh, uh, and uh, next is uh, the use of diminutives and diminutives also literally means uh, to make something short or uh, lacking in some property or characteristics but here it implies that women use words to indicate affections uh, uh, affection means uh, that is related to the expression of the feelings emotions and uh, uh, condition and uh, in order uh, in so they use the typical uh, expressions like so sweet oh dear uh, and uh, these are also related to the uh, to ex to appreciate politeness solidarity uh, and the words for the solidarity like sorry and please solidarity implies to the uh, mm, close relationship uh, or type of attachment to someone uh, and in order to emphasize that uh, deep relationship or attachment and uh, that regard uh, further is uh, the use of the pronouns women tend to use first person plural while men use first person singular and second person pronoun it is a common practice we can also uh, judge it by uh, when we are use, uh, using urdu language in our conversations women also try to use hum and uh, the men used mevgara men and women tend to have different styles and attitude to express something for example men try to find solutions while women protest or complain in uh, unlucky situations women tend to use standard language and hence reluctant to break the language rules uh, this is also mm, another difference between the attitudes uh, and uh, the way of behaving between men and women women uh, often try to uh, complain or uh, to express their protest uh, in the particular situations uh, which are unlucky for them and unexpected for them but uh, men uh, try to find the solution and be calm uh, uh, similarly women tend to use a standard language and hence reluctant to break the language rules uh, if uh, a member from the women uh, tries to uh, speak uh, language particularly the english language she um, uh, she speaks that language uh, according to the rules and don't uh, speak against, speaks against uh, violating the rules further uh, the second main point about differences is the syntax differences uh, in this uh, first point is modulation uh, modulation also literally means to modify something to change or alternate something according to the situation or according to the need or according to the requirement but here we can see that women take something into consideration seldom impose opinions or claims use more modulation than men uh, here uh, there is another uh, attitude or way of manner of the dealing things uh, that uh, create a difference women uh, always uh, try to take uh, things into consideration while dealing with them that is they think uh, ponder uh, about those uh, ponder over those things uh, or happenings or events uh, not take for granted anything 
and seldom impose uh, impose opinions or claims and they don't uh, try to uh, impose uh, their opinions uh, or claims uh, on others uh, and are more uh, using more modulation than men for example women uh, speak in such manner that would you please and men directly do you interrogative sentences women use more interrogative sentences because they are more likely to continue the conversation now, why interrogative because when we ask any question uh, it uh, demands the answer of that question that is it serves the function to prolong that conversation or to continue this uh, in forward direction so women use more interrogative sentences in order to continue the conversation but uh, men often uh, observe uh, observed uh, um, or observed as uh, being straightforward uh, next is the imperative sentences women tend to use more imperative sentences uh, and they use uh, uh, lattice patterns and uh, the type of model verbs like can may could should uh, but men seldom use lattice patterns in their conversation uh, and uh, further is the correctness of grammar women tend to use more a standard grammar of english and focus more on the clear tense uh, this point uh, we have uh, uh, discussed and clarified uh, earlier so no more explanation here and uh, the third point of difference is the non-verbal difference non-verbal mean non-verbal communication uh, because uh, the process of communication goes side by side using verbal and the non-verbal uh, both women use more expressive gestures hand face and body movements in utterances to signify the feelings emotional and psychological state uh, we have already discussed that uh, women try to be expressive uh, why to be expressive and explanative because they try to uh, express a show uh, their feelings there and uh, the way they speak the language the way they use particular type of words uh, uh, adjectives or verbs uh, interrogative sentences imperative sentences they uh, direct uh, they consciously or unconsciously uh, expose uh, uh, their emotional state and their psychological state and uh, all these uh, are uh, and all these become uh, more uh, uh, expressive uh, with the use of uh, their gestures uh, hand movements facial expressions and body movements and it is a common observation that women while speaking use their uh, body language uh, more and frequently uh, 